The, the, the Breakfast Wave. Weekdays, 7 to 10 a.m. Touch HD. All right, there, just like that, we're back on it. This is The Breakfast Wave. Welcome to Touch HD Online. As promised earlier on, um, we do have a guest in the studio today. She's actually the spokesperson for um, the IEC. We've got Ms. Kate Papela. So today we're actually going to be discussing um, everything regarding the elections for 2019. There's a lot going on and I want to know from you, from the IEC, first and foremost, what do you think um, is the voter sentiment right now in South Africa regarding the 2019 elections? Well, it's difficult. It depends who's asking. <laughs> if we're asking from, let's say, a youth yeah. perspective, because we want to, we want more of the youth to come and vote this, uh, in the in the coming in the coming elections. So, when the IEC looks at the numbers of mm. the registered voters um, so far, what is the sentiment so far regarding voting next year? You know, l l let's spend a little bit of time on the young people. Yes. yes. The young people are quite active in mm. all sorts of political spaces mm. because remember, uh, some of them are based in. Um, uh, high schools, some of them are based in tertiary institutions, yes. some already have started working like yourself, yes, yes, for yes. instance. So therefore, um, young people are quite active, they're on social media, they're mm. everywhere, mm. but where in terms of electoral work, in electoral democracy, which is my space, mm. the only way we can determine that young people are present is when they've registered to vote. Yes. And the only way they can participate in any election mm. in where is when they're on the voters' roll. Yes. Because remember, once you go, to, you, you get into an election season, mm. everything goes. That's why last week we announced mm. the final voter registration yes. weekend, which is taking place on the weekend of 26 and 27 Jan, mm. 2019. Okay. And then one, once you miss that that season, it doesn't matter how vocal you are. Because remember, as soon as the president proclaims the elections, that means he says this is the date for elections 2019. That night, 12 midnight, the voters' roll closes. Okay. Even if millions of people come afterwards, most unfortunate, mm. you'll have to come through with the uh, 2021 municipal elections. Yes. What, what are we doing currently? We're, our, we're, we're present yeah. on Facebook, on Twitter, mm. just, just for us on YouTube, just for us to say to young people, it's, it's not an inconvenience to register to vote. Mm. You don't stay more than five minutes in the offices. Mm. You walk in there, an electoral officer is ready, they just take your ID, they zip it in. What There's, there's a handheld scanner mm. where they just uh, be, 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 uh, pull in your ID number and then from then they fill the rest of the information. Mm. It's swift, it's quick and to the point. I'm hoping that young people like you, Sipo, will yeah. begin to shift the cheese mm. and say, yeah, right here, we're done with the struggle. If we are to sustain the innovation mm. that is taking place, you're looking at young people, mm. they're making waves internationally, mm. Mm. From, a, from fashion to music, everywhere they're making waves, to science, everywhere you look at young people, they're doing incredible work. So uh, we're, we're saying that much as we do that in those spaces, let us also say in, in the democratic space, how do you begin to make waves? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you cannot always say someone must do, or you, you, you throw stones at someone because they're not doing. Mm. Take a bit. Of, take the sh the, sh the, the, yeah. the shuffle. Go into the into the work. Do work. Make get your hands dirty. Mm. Young people that are sitting back, and when mm. you sit back, there's when the problem ca comes. It's very interesting. Yeah. It is. And uh, what I'm also getting from her is we need to take initiative as young people. Yes. Like I said, yes. we spoke about this last week briefly, and I said we like to be here on Twitter. Mm. We talk a lot mm. on Facebook. We talk a lot on mm. WhatsApp. We talk a lot, yes. and we share so many things. Yeah. But when I talk, when I, I said I spoke to my sister, and I said, "Did you register to vote?" She's like, "No," and I've never voted. She's Can 28 years old. Ooh, no. Do you understand? So there's a lot of no. like. I, I I'm missing here on my voters roll. I'm missing here. Ramata ka dress. Ramata ya. We're gonna fetch her now. We're gonna fetch her now. So I think we're gonna fetch her now. She's in the box. She's here. Yeah. Thank you very much. As we said before, guys, let's not forget that the voter registration stations will be open from 8 a.m. till uh, till 5 p.m. Mm. on January the 26th of uh, 26th of January Saturday and Sunday again the 27th of January. Let's all go out there. Let's cast our void. Let's not make noise from the background. Mm, yes. Let's cast our void in the in the only way that matters. Thank cool. you. The, the, the Breakfast Wave. Wave. Weekdays, 7 to 10 a.m. Touch HD.